Hey guys, as promised, I am back here today to tell you guys how the wash test went when I did heat away topping versus water soluble topping. So stick around to find out what happened. So as you guys can see, I am not in my usual location because we are prepping for Deco Summit. For those of you who are going, I cannot wait to see you there. And if you're not going this year, then you definitely should be going next year. So with that being said, please like and subscribe. All of the support that you guys have been showing us has really helped us to grow. So please keep it up. We thank you guys so much. And let's just go ahead and get started. So let me give you guys a little bit of background if you have not seen our previous video. A few weeks ago, I decided to finally use heat away topping. And for those of you who do not know what that is, it is essentially a topping that you heat away rather than wash away, right? For those of you who do not know what topping is, essentially it is a, a plastic film that we put on top of our embroidery to make sure that our stitches come out really nice and clear. And it is used for fabrics that have nap and textured fabrics like terry cloth. So I've been hearing about heat away topping since I started embroidery and I got my start with wash away topping. So I always said that is not necessary. That's a myth, that's a myth. But I finally decided to open my mind and try something new because um, a lot of people have been saying that it works really well. So I decided to give it a shot for myself and see what happens. So I went ahead and embroidered the exact same design on a piece of terry cloth, one with water soluble topping and the other one with heat away topping. So after embroidering both, they came out beautiful from the embroidery machine. But the real question is, how did it hold up against the wash? So I decided to do it myself. I said I was gonna do a few washes and see how it looks. And I actually just did one and was able to come up with a conclusion with just one. I was gonna do a few more, but I have been busy planning for Deco Summit and water bill's not cheap, so. So now that you guys are finally all up to speed, I am finally going to reveal which one won. Which one won. So I want you guys to first, before skipping to the end, actually take a guess below to see if you were right before we find out the answer. So here I have my heat away after being washed one time. And mind you guys, I washed this with cold water. What's it doing? <laughs> so mind you guys, like I was saying, I washed it with cold water because it is heat away. So if you wash with hot water, you better stop interrupting me. So if you wash with hot water, then um, it's going to melt away the stabilizer, right? So it's going to um, mess up the clarity of the design. And this right here is the one that I embroidered with the wash away stabilizer. So finally, um, I'm gonna let you guys take a closer look. Um, we're gonna come in for a close up. But um, just to give you guys my honest opinion, um, I was actually very impressed by the heat away stabilizer and I think it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to start using. Well, I have a whole roll of it now, um, but I'm definitely gonna start using more because there really is a difference. Um, you can see that even though it's not too, even though the water soluble stabilizer does not look bad, um, there is a bit of a difference. You can actually see that the letters are not as um, inundated um, on the uh, heat away side, whereas the one with the wash away side, the letters are already starting to sink in a little bit into the fabric. Um, and then we also see in the areas where there's like some very small uh, details, we see the terry cloth is already starting to um, cover those little details. Whereas here, um, you can still see the details a little bit better. So definitely recommend using heat away on fabrics that you're going to be um, washing frequently. Overall, I'm really glad I tried this product because now I can give you guys better recommendations, which is exactly why I'm constantly trying new things for you guys. I also got curious about the price point um, now that I am hooked on heat away and I realized that you can actually get more uh, heat away topping um, for the same price as you can the water soluble topping from the site that I ordered the water soluble topping from. So for those of you who wanna know where I got the heat away stabilizer from, I got it from All Stitch, so I will go ahead and link that below. So I'm not gonna go too in detail on embroidering textured fabrics because we do have three videos on it. One of them which I embroidered last week talking about a knockdown stitch and how um, this can help improve clarity even further. 
And then we have one that I published about a year ago on textured fabrics, just general tips for embroidering on them. And then of course the one that we uh, published just a few weeks ago on heat away versus wash away, which shares a few tips as well. So that's it for today, guys, just because we have Deco Summit right around the corner. So we want to just check back in because I promised that I would check back in and tell you which one won. Which one won? Oh my God, every single time, okay. So now that we got through all of that, go ahead and keep an eye out for all of our social media stuff on Deco Summit. One last thing, as usual, please make sure to join our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. And there you're gonna chat with me and thousands of other embroiderers. So I really hope to see you guys there if you have any questions or uh, future suggestions for other videos. So thank you guys again for watching and hopefully see you at Deco Summit. Bye. We've got a winner! Woo!